Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another round of Arbitration Studios as we continue our journey across the whole darn thing of Mech Warrior 5. Viva la Rasselhag! Viva la Revolution! It's time to start the rise of Rasselhag. It means a lot that you have answered the call. Although we only briefly worked together, your past actions have proved you are a true friend to the people of Rosselhag. And now, we need all the friends we can get for what might be the most important event of our lifetimes. Commander, I've entered into a pact with Comstar's Primus Mindo Waterly and the Draconis Combine's Gunji Nalkanri Theodore Carita that will grant a large majority of the Rosselhag military district its independence. In early March of next year, I will be announcing our secession from the Combine and the birth of a new independent nation, the Free Rasulheg Republic. Anyway, Comstar's pledged generous administrative age and a generous stipend of grants and loans to sponsor the formation of our new government. The Conray is pledging that the Draconis Combine will recognize the Republic's sovereignty and promptly withdraw all DCMS military assets from the Republic upon our Declaration of Independence. Archon Katrina Steiner has also pledged to, to recognize the sovereignty of Rosslake and will gift the Republic a number of systems with direct ties to her people, turning over nearly all of the world's Christian and the first tier liberated in the name of House Steiner during the Fourth Succession War. <clears throat> <laughs> One of the largest peaceful transfers of power in the history of the Inner Sphere. We'll throw peaceful in quotes. So, set a course. And another cutscene. Mm hmm. The tier movement was founded to right the injustices brought upon the people of Rasselhag by those that claimed to be our equals. For over 700 years, Crusader. both House Corita and House hmm. Steiner have used their lies of equality to justify the oppression of our. Okay, so. You're going to piss on the legs of the people who you needed to get this independence, particularly House Steiner. Your favorite. Well, like, like, mm. Go. <laughs> little cat skirting around playing with a ball. <laughs> Let's bring. Alright. Oh boy! See, this is the problem with revolution and independence. <clears throat> um, not everyone wants what the people who are the public face of independence want. Um, uh, don't, don't mistake that, Victor. Russell Higgs bid for independence was absolutely justified, but it... All revolutionaries forget that there are people who merely want, like, autonomy, not necessarily independence. And there are other people who are quiet but will support the existing government when, uh, when called. It, it, it's always, always a, um... A gamble to engage in rebellion. Like a gambit. Gamble. Uh. And it was foolish in the extreme for Magnuson and Man's Daughter to think that they could get 
a purely peaceful transfer of power. Anyway. We can bring assaults. We can bring assaults, and we will. But... <clears throat> Still call. How much tons do we have? 80 tons? Cool. Cool. <laughs> that was so awesomely planned. Uh huh. High five. I feel good about that. <laughs> that one? Yep. Kung's army. I, I've always mispronounced that. Oh boy! And this is the other side of revolutions, even ones that <clears throat> seek a peaceful transfer of power. Civilians will always always get in the crosshairs because the people who are who support either the rebels or the regime will believe that there is no room for a middle ground no room for the people who frankly just want to want the trains to run on time um and so And so they're, uh, yeah, the, the, those people, the ones who don't have an investment in revolution one way or, or the other, will be seen as traitors by both sides. Yeah, that, that's always why it's important for populations to rally the public. Or rebellions to rally the public, because it's just as much about protecting the public as it is about gaining support for the uh, the cause du jour. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I I I I'm awesome. Whoop. Sorry, had so much momentum behind me, it couldn't be helped. Did someone do something about that battle mech? Boing. All right. Zap. So, anyway. <clears throat> The reason why uh, you, you heard that one samurai saying, How long live House Karita, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that the forces here that are ostensibly on House Karita's side, even though they are actively working against the political and diplomatic wishes of the uh, uh, of House Krita's uh, Director of Military Affairs. The office is called the Gunji no Kanrei for uh, to be technical about it. Um, you know, the, the Rosselhag regulars are drawn from the Rosselhag district. These are people who fight for fight to defend Rosselhag on behalf of House Karita. And now their guns are being pointed at their country. 
at people who are ostensibly their countrymen because the thing is is that they they're the they're the ones who believe that House Karita one has a right to rule the combine and two um the the combine is what will keep the Rosselhag district and free Rosselhag republic safe oh no we're too late you got to be kicking me that was not being a captain i was being that literally <laughs> no Get guns on that ship! We can no Whew. Yeah, this is what happens when you, uh... When, when, when a dropship takes off, even on a prepared pad. It cooks it. Haha. <laughs> I can't do it. Wolverine. Oh, it burst fire. Yep, it's fine. Oh, Marcus Carita is an interesting character. He is... I mean, he has the last name Karita, so obviously he is part of the family that rules the Draconis Combine, right? Yes. Well, he has had eyes on the throne of the Draconis Combine uh, f all his life. But uh, he was... His line of the family was never really, like, pointed towards the throne. He is the cousin, specifically, of Takashi Kurita, the current coordinator, and the father of the Gunji no Kanri Theodore Kurita. And his, uh, his designs on the Combine Throne were always won out through treachery and political maneuvering, and not, not more than one, uh overt assassination attempt. And it failed. Constantly. Um. This, uh, maneuver is mostly born out of desperation. All right. The dropship carrying Marcus Creed has left Rosselhag's planetary perimeter is now en route to the system's jump point. Attempts to pursue were called off when military dropships and aerospace assets belonging to 8th regulars and the 10th Zunshan Co training cadre fell in to screen Karita's path to the Rosselhag jump point. We simply don't have the naval assets to, off to contest that space. So, yeah. The specific conflict that this takes place in, Victor, is called the Ronin War. When... It was called that because a Ronin is a samurai without a master. And ostensibly... The, um... Uh, the, uh, these, uh, warriors became Ronin when, uh, feeling that, uh, that the, uh, Draconis Combine's military and government betrayed its ideals in creating the Free Rosselhag Republic. We, we could do Night Star. I don't want to do the Night Star. 
And besides, these things are going to get fixed up in the time to the next mission. So we are good to go. They're not fixed yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot to fix them. Oh, well. Well, it adds a little bit of extra challenge then. Crusaders. Yep. Many stragglers trapped on Russellhig. For the good of our people, we need to bring them to justice. All right. I like justice. Yeah. You got it, Brosif. I really like, uh... I really like Man's Daughter, personally. Boink. And in hindsight, I probably should have pulled out the longbow. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. Boink. Focus fire on Commander's target. Now you guys turn around. I gotta take care of that missile carrier before it just plays hell. All right. What do we got here? We got an LRM carrier, got a locust, and we've got a wolverine. Well, I think the locust is the first one up for our uh, for the price is right. Would be. Oh, it was the first one who was falling into our guns for a second, but but he want wants to dance around instead. So. Boink. Boink. <laughs> and yes, I do have to say boink. Well, don't worry, we got him. <clears throat> I'm joining your crusaders to take up uh to take the north. My boys have got the south covered. Couple of scorpion tanks, I don't need to worry about them. Yeah, you do. Hunchy hunchy first. Like disco. <laughs> no, this isn't a disco, Hunchy. This is, uh... Th this is, uh, the Diet Hunchback. It's got an autocannon 10 instead of 20. Yep. No, because those are perfectly in line. Yeah, I know. All right. 
Got a quick draw. Kentaro. Another quick draw. Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawk and three gunships. Boop. God, those Igors are tough. Boop. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to do something here. I'm trying to make a meme. Not not an intercept course. Anything but an intercept course. Oof. Have I lost my touch? What? Oh. Oh, there's... There's a stalker. I see it. That's... Deadly. Uh-huh. They're hell-bent on destroying this facility. They must be worried about what we'll find here. We cannot allow this base to fall. You are so dramatic, Hakon. Come on. I got our backfield, guys. You handle the, that stalker. I guess I think. Oh, shoot. It's alright. It's been a while since we've actually faced any really bad damage, so... It just took literally forgetting to fix ourselves up to do it. Yes. So... Uh, I like to, I like to arm. Yep. No double heat sinks, no, uh, no pulse lasers in there, so we're good. I can't believe, but we survived on 69%. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Alright. Well, that's the first leg of Rise of Rosselhag. Out of the way. We got a. Uh, Two parts? What? Uh, I forget how many missions, but we will see how many that is, and we will see next time on Arbitration Studios. So.